Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given trigonometric problem. 4 times sine power 6 theta plus cosine of 6 theta minus 6 times sine power 4 theta plus cosine power 4 theta. And we have been given 4 options. So let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this trigonometric problem. And here I have just copied it down as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and use the distribution property. Let's distribute this 4 and likewise this negative 6. So we are going to get 4 times sine power 6 theta plus 4 times cosine 6 theta and then minus 6 times sine power 4 theta and minus 6 times cosine power 4 theta. And now we can see that 2 is in common among these 4 and 6. And here I have factored out this 2. So we are left with 2 times sine power 6 theta plus 2 cosine power 6 theta minus 3 sine power 4 theta minus 3 cosine power 4 theta. So here's our next step. Let's go ahead and write down 2 times inside this bracket. Let's copy down 2 sine power 6 theta plus 2 cosine power 6 theta. And now negative 3 sine power 4 theta could be written as negative 2 sine power 4 theta minus sine power for theta and likewise this could be written as negative 2 cosine power 4 theta minus cosine power 4 theta and now let's go ahead and rearrange this term I'm going to put down 2 sine power 6 theta and minus 2 sine power 4 theta together and likewise 2 cosine power 6 theta and minus 2 cosine power 4 theta. And here in this next step I have combined these two terms together and likewise these two get together and then I put these two terms at the very end as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and do this one two times inside this bracket. If we look at first these two terms we can see that 2 sine power 4 theta is in common. I'm going to factor it out and inside parentheses we are left with a sine square theta minus 1. Now in this next two terms over here we can see that 2 cosine power 4 theta is in common. So I can factor that one out. So we are left with cosine square theta minus 1 and then I'm going to leave these one alone as it is minus sine power 4 theta minus cosine power 4 theta. Now let's recall this famous trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1. So let's go ahead and move this cosine square theta on the right hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this 1 on the left hand side so we can write sine square theta minus 1 equal to negative cosine square theta. So therefore in this parenthesis sine square theta minus 1 I am going to replace it by negative cosine square theta. Now once again we are going to look at this trigonometric identity. This time I am going to move sine square theta on the right hand side and 1 on the left hand side. So we will end up with cosine square theta minus 1 equal to negative sine square theta. And now let's focus on this inside this parentheses. Cosine square theta minus 1 I am going to replace it by negative sine square theta over here. So our equation could be written as now 2 times inside this bracket 
टू साइन पावर फोर थेटा एंड इन साइप्रंथसीज आम गुन रिप्लेस इट बाय नेगेटिव को साइन स्क्वायर थेटा एंड लाइक वाइज प्लस टू को साइन पावर फोर theta inside parentheses i am going to replace it by negative sin square theta and then negative sin power 4 theta and minus cos sin power 4 theta as it is and now we can see between these two terms we can see that 2 sin square theta cos sin square theta is in common So let's go ahead and write down two time inside this bracket. I am going to factor out negative two sine square theta times co sine square theta. Inside parentheses, we are left with the sine square theta, and then uh, plus uh, co sine square theta, and finally minus. Sine power four theta minus cos sine power four theta. Now we can see that this sine square theta plus cos sine square theta is always equal to one. As you can see over here, negative two times sine square theta cos sine square theta times one is going to be simply. Negative two sine square theta cos sine square theta, and the rest over here is same. And now, as we can see, this is a negative sine across the board. They are in common, so I can factor that one out. And in this next step, I brought this negative sine outside, and now I have rearranged this one. I put sine power four theta right up here, then plus cos sine power four theta right up here. And then plus two sine square theta cos sine square theta right here. And now in this next step, I am going to manipulate these terms. I am going to write down this sine power four theta as sine square theta, and then power two plus likewise cos sine power four theta could be written as sine square theta, and then power two plus two time. Sine square theta times co sine square theta, and then we have a close bracket. Now, in this next step, we can see inside this bracket all these terms represent a perfect square by using this formula a plus b square. So, therefore, I can write this thing negative two is still outside. And in this bracket over here could be written as sine square theta plus cos sine square theta, and then we have a square over here. Now we can see that inside this parentheses, sine square theta plus cos sine square theta is one. So we got simply negative two times. This is going to become. One square. Now we can see that one square is simply one. So thus we got negative two times one, which is equal to negative two as our final answer. So thus we conclude that the negative two is our correct answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.